for more than 90 years, visitors from all over the world have been visiting a wedding gown shop in Chihuahua, Mexico, to study the spookily lifelike bridal mannequin in the window of the shop. It is said that the mannequin is in fact a real corpse, which has a strange story behind it. Dressed in bridal wear and exhibited in an otherwise unremarkable storefront window, La Pascualito is not an ordinary mannequin. Local rumor has it that the clothing dummy is actually the well-preserved corpse of the owner's daughter, who died from a toxic spider bite just before her own wedding. There are hundreds of testimonies from people who claim that they have seen her move her eyes, cry, smile and even leave the window on lonely nights. Amazingly, La Pascualita has lived in the La Popula store window for over 90 years. She made her first appearance on the 25th of March 1930, reportedly wearing a gown from the spring and summer collection. Immediately locals were struck by La Pascualita looks. They were also curiously concerned about her uncanny resemblance to the owner Pascuola, Espaz, and given the recent passing of her daughter, rumors of a grisly origin instantly began to swirl around the mannequin. Even on close inspection, La Pascualita's skin, hair, hands and even seemingly varicose veins of her legs look very real. But what is the real story of this mannequin except the rumors going around it being a corpse? There are several stories. The most common version says that the owner of the business, Pascualito Esparza, ordered and bought the mannequin from France. Another version also says that the mannequin was brought from Paris, but that Mrs. Esparza acquired it in Mexico City, inside a prestigious store, from, which she used to bring fabrics and other stuff that she resold at her store. At first they didn't want to sell her the beautiful wax figure, but she was so in love with the mannequin that she threatened to stop buying her supplies at their store if they didn't sell it to her. So they agreed and Mrs. Parza took it to her store. Whatever the truth is, it is believed that Mrs. Parza bought the mannequin because in addition to being extremely beautiful and realistic looking, she looked quite like her sister, who was in charge of making the dresses that she displayed in her shop window. According to what is said, from the first day that the wax bride was in La Popula, everyone stopped by, to look at her and everyone, started to call her La Pascualita, because of her resemblance to the owner of the place. To be honest, the reason why La Pascualita impressed people so much that she became an icon of the time and earned the title of the most beautiful girl in Chihuahua, is that she was different from the other mannequins of the time. She had a better wax finish. Her eyes were made of glass, her hair and eyelashes were implants of real hair and eyelashes, and her expression, unlike those of so many inert looking mannequins, was alive, and reflected emotions as if it were endowed with humanity. Well, up to this point, La Pascualita simply drew attention, but in 1967, rumors began to arise that the wax bride was alive and was able to move at night when no one was in the premises, or smile at some people. In particular, rumors became more frequent when Pascualito Esparza passed away in 1967, then people appeared saying that La Pascualita, followed them with her eyes, that her ghost, followed them for a while if they stared at her, or that for a few seconds the little red veins appeared in her eyes, it was even known that some employees who worked at La Popula resigned their position because they saw La Pascuali to cry or move, and others who refused to dress her because supposedly greenish veins appeared on her legs. Anyways, La Pascualita has been giving window shoppers the creeps for decades with her eerily lifelike appearance and possible adventures after dark. And in fact, she is on view for all to see. If taking a trip down a dark corner of the uncanny valley is what you are looking for, what is your idea about La Pascualita? A well-made mannequin, or a real corpse? Write in the comments and don't forget, to subscribe to our channel.